don't think so. I think the more I think about it, the more I remember and the more I'll feel, you know? Because um, at the time, I remember just feeling very relieved. That was know? the biggest emotion you had? Yeah, really. like, yeah. you say you want to do something and then you've actually done it. Yeah. Um, I was just bawling, bawling my eyes out, oh. so I don't remember much. But, yeah, um, the more I think about it now and I think about what we've done, I'm just... Uh, yeah, I couldn't be prouder of the girls. Has it actually sunk in yet, like the, the achievement, the magnitude of what you achieved? I don't think so. I think when we get into the season, maybe, and we see the change in attendances, or, you know, like when we just keep hitting these records and we keep doing things that are just changing the game, then maybe it will do. But the only thing that's sunk in is that we've done something a little bit crazy because everybody just sort of knows who we are. The one thing I noticed watching you all throughout the tournament is that the players seem so calm and relaxed under pressure, particularly as we were going deeper into the tournament. Yeah. Um, was that something that you spoke about prior to it? Was Serena Vigman a big factor in that? Talk to me about the mindset you had. Yeah, I don't, I, Serena's changed things in terms of we didn't chase the end goal, like we chased the day to day, which oh. does make a difference. You can, if you just said it, it doesn't, but when you make it habitual and every day you just get up and you do your job, then you know exactly what you're there for you just kind of tick little boxes yeah. off. So then when you get to these games, it's just another step on the journey, which she made like reality for us. But I think also the belief that we were going to do something good. Like every time we went into a game, we believe, genuinely believe that we were going to win it. Mm. So then that makes you calm anyway, because you sort of look around and you think, no, we're all right. Yeah. Yeah. Even in the Spain game, like, no, we're good. We just need to figure it out, you know? So yeah. like the, the trust in each other, I think, was what we worked on, like being vulnerable with each other to then know that when we're going into these games, ultimately it's just a game of football. Yeah. But Serena said... A big game of football. Like yeah, the final, isn't it? <laughs> the, before the final she said, we don't need to win today, we just really, really want to. You know, wow. like there is yeah. no... So the legacy been set. Yeah, yeah. Like, your goal is to achieve... Yeah, for trophy, us, yeah. we want to win. Like it's not, it's not vulnerable to... Well, you're being vulnerable to admit that, but it's not harmful to us. And I think that change in mindset is then good because yeah, we don't need to do anything but we want to yeah i've seen you talk with such glowing terms about serena vegan and the relationship yeah. you have with that i just wanted to sort of ask you a bit more about that really about how you worked day to day in the tournament and how much of an impact she made on this england team i think she's she's bought you know she respects england football english football culture for what it is and she's really bought into that side of things from her point of view but she's her dutch background yeah. is straight to the point, like a bit ruthless, but really? very respectful. So she has the respect of everybody, but she doesn't waste time and everything is for the purpose of winning. So even if you disagree with something, if you might disagree with something, you would still respect her, yeah. which just makes all the difference in the world because you, you just kind of remove all that little noise and everything is with the focus of winning. 